am Danielle from New York here in San Francisco to talk to you about HPV and cervical cancer. I also want to talk about exciting next generation tests using biomarker technology. They help women who test positive for high risk HPV to know more sooner. Look around. I wonder if these women have heard that certain types of HPV put them at risk for cervical cancer, a disease that is nearly 100% preventable. I tested positive for HPV and had a very close call with cervical precancer, but the road to stop the disease from progressing was stressful and very long. That's why I've made it my mission to raise awareness about HPV. Today, I'm talking to an expert in women's health about cervical cancer screening. So when should a woman start getting cervical screening? Well, it depends on the woman's age and her medical history. Although HPV is a common virus and a lot of women will be exposed through their lifetime, it doesn't always cause a problem. But we know that 10 to 15% of patients will test positive for a high-risk HPV, and that could be actually concerning at that point. Well, I know all about that, but what can be done to know more and to know sooner? No one wants to wait up to 18 months for their next HPV test result, or worse, find out that the disease has progressed. So is the traditional pap test still the best way to go? Well, not exactly. You may need to know if you have a high-risk HPV. You may actually need immediate follow-up. Sometimes it leads to a biopsy to collect tissue from the women's cervix. A biopsy. I had that done. Then I had cryosurgery to freeze off the precancer cells, which is usually followed by other procedures to make sure all the potentially dangerous cells are gone. I was told one of these procedures could possibly affect future pregnancy. Well, we certainly want to minimize these risks, and that's why newer testing is so welcome. So we have a next generation PAP with biomarker. It's collected the same way as a PAP in HPV and can signal disease progression to cancer. So when these biomarkers occur together, it means that the HPV is actively causing cell changes at the cervix, which could eventually lead to cancer. With this test, women can find out more quickly if they have cellular changes happening. If not, then they don't need invasive procedures. And what if it's positive? So if it's positive, it tells you that there are actual cell changes happening at the cervix, and therefore you would need further testing. But whether it is positive or negative, you know what to do and you don't have to wait and worry. When faced with a positive HPV result, women can now get answers sooner. And with advances in cervical cancer screening, I feel like we finally crossed a bridge. <laughs>